So I played Escape from Tarkov recently, and uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna okay, you're gonna see me die a lot, all right? Well, my friends were stacking up PMC kills, getting all sorts of good stuff. I was bringing the wrong ammo into raids over and over again. Oh, I can't fire my gun! I can't fire my gun! Huh? I'm on the other side. This... Help me, there's a scav in here with me. He shot okay. me in the gut. I was struggling to kill scavs. I had no idea what was going on. I was just a man who was completely <laughs> stupid. Right? This is, here we go. Okay. Raid number one. The first one I was doing alone here. It was uh, on customs. Yeah, th up until this point, customs is pretty much the only map that I had been playing. So it's the only one that I felt moderately comfortable getting around and even that was tough for me at this point i spawned behind old gas and i saw that my extraction point was behind dorms or at least one of them so i figured i could run through these warehouses and uh, loot what i could and just get out i didn't want to do anything crazy i didn't want to try to do any quests I didn't want to try to kill anyone i just wanted to get in and get out you know nice simple mission so i went through the warehouses and uh, i looted some stuff and what did i get i have no idea because i don't have the, uh, the footage in front of me right now and this was like almost two months ago how can I remember? It doesn't matter, okay? So I went through, I ended up in this parking lot, and there was uh, one thing I was very scared about here in my first raid. Uh, a sniper scab, okay? This man sits up in a, in a tower with a high-powered rifle. Serves one purpose. Yeah, killing people like me who have no idea what they're doing. Who, who are just completely lost. And I had a feeling that this man was about to put a bullet right through my skull, okay? So I, I carefully started looking for him. Started looking in every time. At this point, I'd been told like 25 times which tower he spawned in, I had no idea. Things looked clear, so I started walking out into this parking lot and just hoping that i make it across. And you know what? Oh, look at this, I did. Somehow got across the other side. Got up to the wall and uh, got stuck again because I had no idea how to get over it. Tried to tried to do it like four times, tried to jump over it, tried to do all this stuff, did not work. So I just kept running down it and eventually found a hole in the wall that uh, I got through. It put me out by the road, which uh, I don't want to be on any road, so I just ran across the road and ended up in the woods. And... Uh, just kept running through the woods and eventually ended up in this like a train track area. I knew that the uh, dorms were somewhere close to here, and sure enough, after running through the woods for a little bit longer, yeah, I found them. At this point, I was thinking, you know what? Let's just uh, let's extract. Things are going well enough. You got like probably some garbage in your inventory here. Just you know, let's get out and, and survive your first raid. But then I saw the dorms and I was thinking, you know what? Why don't I just go see what's going on in there? Why don't I just go take a little peek? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Oh! I don't know why I did that. There, there's 0% chance I could have killed anyone in this game. I'm just shooting at people. There's no point in this. I figured that uh, since the extraction point was so close, I could just... If things start to go bad, I could just run over to it. And that, that's exactly what I did. But when I got there, the, the, the guy wanted 6,000 rubles to extract. I don't have that type of money. So I just had to run to my next best option, which was the smuggler's boat which meant running further west. So after another moderate amount of running, I made it down to uh, that uh, smuggler's boat. But you know what? Uh, there's no boat there. I was just a man standing next to the water looking, hey, where's the boat? There's no, there's no boat. So I uh, looked at my next possible extraction point, which was the RUAF roadblock directly south of me. So I, I figured if I hugged the river, and took cover underneath the, like, whatever these barrel things are, or pipes or concrete, I could make it there safely, and, and things would be fine. So yet again, I was a man on the run, sort of running down the road water and uh, taking cover behind all these things or underneath them or whatever, and I made it uh, pretty much all the way there. I could see it. It was in my sight. All I had to do was just run up from this little piece of cover, and boom, I was a man who was free. Oh! Okay. Oh, look at this. This is a PNV 10T. You might recognize it from the game. Over on my second channel, Mustard Tactical, I worked with uh, night vision companies like Op4, Night Solutions, and TNVC. And I got them to react to uh, night vision in Tarkov. There's a lot of cool gear in here. If you like night vision, you like this sort of stuff, go check that video out and subscribe to that channel. It's good stuff, right? I got a link to it in the description. Yeah, there it is. One raid, one death. Let's get a little counter going or something like that. I don't know. I uh, was not happy to lose that M4. At the beginning of the game, you get a couple good guns or like decent guns. And, uh, ooh, you saw me lose the last of that for me. So now it's down to just absolute trash now. That was good.
So in Tarkov, there's two ways to play. You can play as a PMC, which is your main character, the thing that you just saw me do. Uh, and then there's scavs, okay? Scavs are like the uh, the dirt bags of Tarkov. They're the, who cares about them? It doesn't, what do, you, what do I mean, who cares about them? It's like a crucial part of the, there's two types of enemies in the game, okay? There's uh, PMCs, which are other players, and then there's scavs, which are AI. The scavs are, they, they're, okay, they're not good, all right? They, they get a random gun and uh, just random gear. These are generally just the, the easy kills you find on the map, the AI that are running around. But here's the thing. You can choose to spawn in as a scav. So not every scav that you run into is AI. Some are player controlled. And the game lets you do this every 30 minutes or something like that. I, I don't know the exact amount of time. Something like that, okay? It gives you a random gun and a random set of gear. Generally speaking, just bad stuff. You almost never get anything worth using here. But the purpose of this is so that you can go into a map or a raid and just try to loot some high value items and get out. What makes this different from normal is that you don't have to worry about the other scavs killing you. They're, they, they ignore you unless you slaughter them and then you... It doesn't... I'll explain that later in the video. Scav runs are one of the main ways you can make money in the game. And as such, the game only lets you do it every 30 minutes. So I figured for raid 2, whoa, gonna do a scav run. Uh, I pretty much spawned in the same place. And the very first building I went into, it had this horse statue. Up until... At this point, I thought that the horse statue was one of the best items in the game. I thought this thing was worth millions. And so the moment I saw that thing, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm a man who has to get out immediately. I, I, there's no time to loot anything else. Let's just get out of here. So I, I found the closest extract, which was that train that I was at before. So I ran for it. On my way, I saw two scavs, but since I'm an idiot and I wasn't totally sure whether they were scavs or not, I just ran around them. I was not risking that. So I made it to the train, extracted, and I got out with that statue and some other stuff. Don't worry about that stuff, okay? They got the statue. It's pretty good. Raid 3, I was done being a scav, so I, I went in with an SKS and one of my friends, uh, Evan, you know, we spawned on customs. So we went in and uh, things went well, except for this yeah, sniper. Oh! Oh, sniper. I'm gonna, he's gonna hit me. Oh, oh god. Jesus Christ! It's on our right. Nope, straight ahead somewhere. Oh, I see him on the roof. Eventually, we ran across the scrapyard and uh, saw a scav on a roof. And you know what? Look at this. Boom. Took that man out. But uh, that sniper, he's still, he was still around. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> Did you get downed? No, but it just it, oh. it pinged off the door frame that I was in. Jesus. All right. I think we are right now. Run out there. <laughs> Hang on. I waited for Evan to run out the door first. He's not, not a chance. This man was going to be my bait from here on out. Whenever you see Evan, I'm always thinking, how can I get this man to die before me, all right? So you're going to see a lot of him in this video. You got to work with what you got, okay? Eventually, I found and killed the sniper. I also took out a few more scavs, and uh, we made it to the extraction point and survived. I ended up killing... Look at this. My third raid killed three scavs. Or four, four scavs, okay? Yeah, some good stuff right I was very happy with that. So we did a scav run next. And, uh... Look at this, found another horse statue. Starting to think that these things weren't as, uh, weren't as rare as I thought they were. Starting to find these things all over the place. My friend Evan, who I was playing with here, he was, uh, he was also very new to the game. Oh, fuck. What? Is that you? What? I just shot. I didn't shoot. What the? Again. What? Nothing, did anything shoot right now? Like... No, what are you talking about? Are you hearing gunshots? Yeah, literally from like, one of us. Oh, there's like a sound glitch where sometimes you hear stuff from further away. They might have patched it though, I don't know. Yeah, that was you. I'm not shooting. No, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, I got, I got good stuff. <laughs> oh, I got, I got that horse statue. <laughs> it's good though. But well, before we go to the next raid, a quick message from this video sponsor. Now, War Thunder, it's the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. If, you're, if you like vehicles, this is the game for you. I'll tell you right now, there's 2,000 tanks, airplanes, helicopters, and ships. <laughs> you can't never forget about a man's ship, all right? Play that right now. These things, incredibly detailed, right down to the individual components. It's sick. Spend all this time getting the detail just right for you to go out and destroy them in a dynamic PvP battle, all right? You know where you can play? You can play everywhere, all right? You can play PC, Xbox, Series X, and S, PlayStation 5, and previous generations of consoles. 
vehicles. The game is in 4K resolution. It looks great. And there's there's so many vehicles. I can't stress that enough. Go all the way back to 1920s. Guess what? You got vehicles from the 1920s in this game. All the way up to present day. It's got it all. Personally, what I like most is that you don't take general damage when you get shot. Whatever breaks on your tank from where you get shot is what breaks on your tank. You, you don't just... Someone doesn't shoot you in the wheel and your top blows off, right? It's real stuff right here. Alright, click the link in my description and go play War Thunder, right? And make sure you use my link because uh, you'll get a large free bonus pack which gives you multiple premium vehicles, pre a premium account, boosters, and there's much more, okay? Use, use my link. <laughs> That's good. So next round we did uh, a PMC. And I, I, this one, a very short raid this time. So I killed, I killed four scavs again. I think even one was, one was a player scav. One of them had this massive backpack. And just as I thought I was about to uh, strut off, I got smoked. Lost my last gun. So for the next raid, I had to buy an AK-74U, which is, hey, you know what? This is a good gun. I like this little gun. So I got some ammo. And uh, this time I you know, hope that it worked because there's a few times prior to this that I would load ammo into mags. Go to shoot them and, ooh, did not work. So, I was hoping this time was, <laughs> got the right stuff. So, we went in and uh, we looted this, uh, what was it, this building called a crack house. So, I got another, look, at, I just keep getting these statues. But we heard some players come in, so uh, I tried to use VoIP. And then, uh, I, I, Evan just started, uh, as soon as Evan gets a chance to speak to random people, it just gets weird. Hey, get out of here, okay? All right, all right, we don't want trouble. You time to go, time to go. I just walk out of here, okay? I don't know who's screaming like that. That's not the guy I'm with. I hear you. Okay. We carefully left and ran to this big building where Evan got an MP7. And then I found this teapot. A uh, purple item. And I thought, whoa, purple. Hey, that's pretty good. I want to get that out. So I told Evan, hey, let's get out of here right now. I don't want to be wasting time in here. Let's get this thing, get out. And he agreed. So we ran out of the building, got up to the... Uh, or is it like a little fence or something like this? And there's just a guy waiting for us in the in the grass. Oh, oh! oh. He's down. I'm hit bad though. You're about to die? Yep, hang on. I'm laying down in the grass and I might even Oh! I got I got fractures and my chest is bleeding, my right arm's bleeding out, my thorax is I got a broken rib. Thankfully the gas station extract was up, so we took it and got out. And you know what I found out? Oh, my good friend Evan there. He, uh, remember I said that he found an MP7? Well, turns out the man found two. Yeah. And didn't tell me about one of them so he wouldn't have to give it to me. We're six raids in and uh, Tarkov is already turning friend against friend. Because I, uh, this man was going to pay for that decision. Anyways, it was like close to Christmas at this point and, uh, the game gave us a Christmas package which came with a scar and ammo, a key holder, and, uh, I may as well just give all this stuff to random people in the game because there's there's no way I get to keep any of it. So I, I wasn't even excited to get any of this. Yeah, raid number seven. I went in with my good friend Riley, okay? This guy, the master of Tarkov. We call him the uh, expert. He, uh, there's no way you can die with this guy. Oh. oh no, we're getting pinched. Oh my god, dude. What? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. We do not, not, no one needs to die here. No one needs to die. Here we go. Raid number eight. Interchange again. So we entered through the bottom of the parking garage and uh, came up. Riley said he heard someone, so he stopped and waited. And sure enough, a player scav came running out of the door. Just gunned this man down right on the spot. So I picked up his gun and we moved on. Riley kept going on about how he's... Uh, some story he's got to go to. I don't know. There's someone in there or something. So we get there and uh, we're inside and... Yeah, here's some guy screwing about outside, walking around, causing all sorts of noise. So we sit there and go silent. The guy eventually enters the store, puts a shotgun straight to Riley's head and, and blows him away. Riley's just a dead man now. So I chase after the guy. I put a couple shots in him. He hits me. I back off and he backs off too. But the thing is, is I can hear him, I can hear him using the bandage, healing up. And I think, you know what? This, this is it. This is the moment where I take down my first player. So I use the opportunity to run back out of the store and just start blasting, spraying wildly at this man. And I kill him. Oh, I was, after that, I was feeling good. My first player kill. Wow. A truly, a truly remarkable feeling. So I loot him as fast as I can. I run in and I grab as much of Riley's stuff as I can. And I, I extract as fast as possible. I get out of that mall and think, you know what? I'm not going back there ever again. That place is not safe. 
Okay, raid nine, I'm back. Back on interchange again with Riley. He's, uh, still, he wanted to go to that store again for some reason. So I gave him back his stuff and we back went straight back to the same place. And I guess Riley, I don't know. What, what could this man possibly want in this store? He really wanted to get in there. So we got there and the exact same thing happened. We tried to leave the, out the same door. There's a guy there again. So I tried talking to him. Hey, how's it going? I can see you sitting right there. He's trying to let at me. You want to cooperate? Or do you want one of us to die here? How about, how about you go that way, I go the other way? He's gonna shoot me before he I'm shoots not gonna, you. I'm not gonna shoot you. He shot me. Oh my god. I trusted him. Hey, Raid 10! This one, uh... Somehow I just... I fell off a roof. Okay. How do you even do something? How do you... So I... I that just screwed everything up because now I, I was a man with two broken legs. So I limped out of there and I saw someone run into a container. I thought, you know what? If I can shoot this man and kill him, I can maybe get some, a splint or something from him. So uh, when they came out, I... Did I ask him? I can't remember. I found another guy, though, and I, I spoke to him. And this man, friendly guy. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Don't worry. You got any meds? I got two broken legs. Yeah, I don't have a splint, but I do have a... There you go. Oh, thank you, my man. I ended up just limping around until the raid ended, and this was a big waste of time. Okay, no more screwing around. I wanted to get to level 15. If you get to level 15 in this game, ooh, I'm telling you right now, that's when the game gets good, because you can uh, you can start buying weapons on the flea market. The flea market is where you can sell stuff to other players, and you can buy stuff from other players. Good. And to level up, you, you need to get XP. And one of the best ways of doing that is completing quests in the game. One of the quests I had required me to go to the map of woods and uh, look for this little tiny piece of paper on the ground. And the only clue they give you is it says, uh, look where the hunter would wait for his prey. Hey, oh, pretty good. One little line to help you find a small little piece of paper on a, a giant map. Eh, no problem. So I grabbed a pistol and went in at night thinking, you know what? Maybe uh, no one will see me. You can sneak there and just find it. Yeah, wh what a mistake this was. Okay. Then about three seconds later, I was smoked by a sniper, giving me a total of uh, 41 seconds in raid. Oh, it's a long time to be in a raid. Come back to that quest later. So I, I did a scavron with Evan after that uh, on interchange, and we uh, found some stuff. I dropped a guy in the back of the head and uh, made Evan think that he was being shot at again. I'm running back to that pit thing like with a oh, Jesus. Is that you shooting? Yeah, they dropped a guy. I made a lot of money on this quick little uh, a scav run. I was able to get back up to 500,000 rubles. And uh, I worked on my hideout. And I had absolutely no what I, I... I was I would try to explain what the hideout is here, but I still don't know what it is. So there's... I, I don't know what this is, okay? I'm just clicking things down here. So we went back onto customs for raid 13 uh, with Evan. And we survived for about three minutes. I got uh, smoked by some guy. Went back to customs again for raid 14. And again, things were going well. I, I killed two scavs. I had some decent loot, and I was looting this one dead guy who had a good helmet and some body armor. And just as things were going well, just as uh, I was thinking, oh, you know what? Things are turning around for me. Evan says, quote, I'm on the wall outside. My man, why is Fish gay? If, if I want you to play the clip of Evan saying that. Are you like at the fence or the wall? The wall? Yeah, the wall. Yeah, the wall. If Evan doesn't say it, put something on the screen that says, like, clip not found or something. I swear he said that, okay? So I hear that, and I run out. Thinking, all right, yeah, it's just Evan on the wall. Don't need to worry about anyone else. Oh! Whoa! Was that you? Nope. You oh, dead? Yeah. Versic. Oh, my God. I had so much good stuff. Hey, raid 15. Went back on the customs to try to kill scavs for a quest. Uh, but Evan, my man Evan just killed me, so that's good. Hello. Oh, I'm dead. Hey, was that you? Did you kill me? Did you poke out a thing? Yep. Sorry. Hey, looks good. I bought a new gear set for this next raid, and I went back into customs again. We went into Big Red, and I hear Evan go, I'm dead. I'm dead. Then I hear some bullets pinging off the walls next to me, and I see the guy behind a forklift, so I shoot him. And I think, oh, okay, just shot this man in the head. There's absolutely no way he could be alive after that. I run over, and uh, no, this man is alive and well. I'm dead. <sighs> really? Yeah, I thought Did I Did he get you too? Yeah. <sighs> God damn. So he had some annoying. little SMG that was like really good. Uh, it's just frustrating because you spend I spend like fifty grand a match. Yep. 
We did a scav run next, and we got to construction, or whatever this building is called. And I heard someone running around, so I got in a corner and just waited. Waited with a shotgun. I was thinking, the moment I see whoever this is, blast him. E absolutely easy kill coming right up. Oh, that is a... Uh, I had a little bit of trouble aiming that shotgun. Uh, backfired on me a little bit there. Raid 18, more customs. Love my customs. Good map. Can you say that a lot in this video? So Evan and I, we were, things were going well. We looted and killed a player. And then... Uh, my man Evan here, he's, uh, he was causing me a lot of money in this game. Costing me quite a lot, because he uh, team killed me again. Nope, I killed another one. I think you killed me, because I killed the guy. Yeah, you killed me. Sorry. <sighs> I killed him. <laughs> Number 19. It was, a, it was a good one. We did a scav run, and I had a shotgun that I needed, so I said to Evan, I'm not... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not playing any of your games this time, okay? Don't team kill me. I want this shotgun. I, I need it for a quest. And just let, let me get in, okay? Didn't waste any time. I looted like two things and ran for the extract. And I got out with the shotgun. Later found out that, yay, doesn't count. Has to be a... That quest I was working on, it was all about upgrading this shotgun that I had just found. One of the upgrades was uh, get a laser designator. And thankfully, I somehow got one from that guy that I uh, killed in, in Interchange. And I'm very happy this guy had one. I also needed to improve its uh, like ergonomics. And to do that, I needed to buy parts from Jaeger, who I hadn't unlocked yet. To unlock Jaeger, you gotta do that quest I was talking about back on Woods. Go find that piece of paper. So, back to Woods we went. And we were very confused. Very, very confused. And then like two seconds later, some guy, uh... Shotgun slaughtered us. So we went back in and stopped to try to figure out where we were. So I thought, oh, okay, let me go over to this porta potty, see if I can see something. Oh, should not have done that. Oh! What? I'm, I'm dead. No, 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 not like this. Not like this. I'm hit. From where? I'm hit. I'm dead. I saw him standing by the porta potty. I'm dead. <sighs> this map. I, I right, hate it. Let's just try again. Pistols. I don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, take my stuff. Glad you enjoy it. It's good. Okay. Raid number 22. We are going back into woods. This time, just pistols. No more giving everyone every... We're not losing stuff anymore, okay? Almost immediately. I get shot in the foot. And being the smart player that I am, I, I decided... You know what? I'm not going to bring any meds with me. No, no way I need them. So, there I was. Uh, a man with a large walk in front of me. And a blacked out leg. That was going to be fun. So I was forced to limp across what I believe is the largest map in Tarkov. Why, why, didn't I, why didn't we just restart? Along the road, we uh, were shot at again. Evan thankfully kills the scav and loots it. I was hoping, hey, maybe this guy will have uh, something on him that will heal my broken leg. And no, we did not. So... After another moderate amount of limping across uh, this giant forest, we finally made it to the camp where the piece of paper was. I located it, put it in my inventory, and thought, hey, if I die now, ooh, there's a 70% chance I never touch this game again. So I started, started another long, long duration of limping across a giant forest. I love doing this. After what felt like another hour of walking, we made it to this field where I did not want to have to limp across slowly, completely in the open. So I started prone, crawling across the field now, going even slower. There's no way I was dying with this piece of paper. N not after all of this. I get, my fingers were cramping up. I, I'm not going down with this paper. I don't care how slow I have to go. So we made it across the field and got to what we thought was the extract point. Only for it to say cooperate with scav to extract it, which meant that the the real extract point complete opposite side of the map this is i can't believe this yeah oh there it was again <laughs> starting the long limp the long limp sean that's what they call me limping across the map again love doing this so much fun so after another moderate amount of time limping we made it to we were just shy of the extract I was bruised, broken, and tired of holding the W key. I had been in this raid for almost 30 minutes at this point, limping through this forest. When I hear gunshots. This man jumps me and starts firing. Somehow I survive, turn and fire at him with only my pistol. I notice he takes cover behind a tree, so I attempt to talk my way out of this situation. Please, he? please, no. I, I, I've i been walking you know, across... He's on? Uh, he's on me. Please, don't kill me. I've been walking across this map for 40 minutes. Please. Where is he? I, all I have is a pistol. Can you heal me? I, I'm sorry. Can you heal me? Sean. No, Evan. I'm talking to him. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, you came up on me. I didn't mean to shoot. I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. I've been limping. Look at this. What do you say? No, hold on. I, all, all I have is a pistol in this. I'm not going to shoot you. I can't even kill you if I wanted to. I then almost walk directly into a minefield and limp, now even slower towards Evan, as my food is empty. Eventually, I see the extract. It's inside it. a beautiful truck sitting right in the woods. I can taste the end. I, I, I can see it. And then someone opened fires on us. I was about to turn my computer off permanently. But somehow, by sheer luck, we made it out of that place. I got my paper and got to unlock Jaeger. I was so happy to make it out of there. However, the cost of playing with Evan brought me down from 500,000 rubles to 2,000, which meant that I couldn't afford a helmet or com tax anymore. So me, Taylor, and Riley went on to woods again, which I, this time I thought, you know, but these guys, nothing can go wrong. So I basically just followed them around because uh, all I had was this AK-74U and at range, this thing, I mean, you're not hitting anything with this range. They had to do quests. I, I didn't care about any, I just wanted to get some money because I was a broke man, so I tagged along. Riley killed someone, and like the little uh, loot vulture I am, I, I swooped on that carcass and just started uh, picking it clean. He had a helmet, he had a thing called a rat cola, he had some pliers. Yeah, give me that, you rat. No, you, want, you want the rat cola? <laughs> yeah. There you go. We'll just take a man's kill. Yeah, well, when a man's got 2,000, he takes what he can get. You got some condensed milk, you want that? A man with 2,000 needs all the help he can get, so don't even... Uh, so I got a helmet, an ADAR, and some uh, random things. We got to a camp, and I looted some wrench thing that was apparently worth a lot, but there was a lot of bodies here. Hey, look at this. Hey, there's so many dead people here. So I took out a scav, then we extracted. I sold the wrench, the other stuff, this condensed milk, and uh, I netted a smooth 150,000 from that one raid. In fact, it felt like a man back in the fight. Ooh, it's feeling good. And with that money that I just made, I thought, ooh, you know what? I'm going to buy some beautiful gun parts for that ADAR. Customize this thing, and... uh I ended up with this. I had no idea what I was doing. Next, we went to factory. Yeah, this raid? Just watch this one. This, I was a monster here. Oh, God. Oh. There's two. The Are they players or scavs? Players. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're coming to you, Taylor. I'm dead. Which side, really? After the disaster in factory, I thought, you know what, let's just do something simple. Okay, nice fa nice customs. I can hopefully survive for raid 25. So we went back on there. I had some quests to do, and Riley brought some stuff for the quests. And I, I don't know, it gave me some upgraded gear, which was yeah, nice. This AK that I got, ooh, I love this thing. So we looted this one place. I got this uh, wooden clock and some other stuff. Uh, the gas station extract was up, so I, I was full on loot anyway, so I just extracted there. Raid 26, we went back in, uh, this time at night. I immediately get shot at, so I uh, dropped to the floor and healed myself. After a few minutes, Riley came back, and he went to this room for Riley's quest. I killed a scab, and we extracted. It's fun being there at night. Okay, raid 27. So we, I went into customs with Adam and uh, Riley, and uh, we went to dorms, like usual. These guys, they all, I always got to go to dorms. I don't really like it so much. Anyways, I was on the second floor when uh, a bunch of players came in. They killed Riley, so I proceeded to shoot out of the windows and jump from the second floor like a scared animal. And I ran back and found Adam, and we uh, devised a strategy where I'd run over to this door, open it, and then Adam would fire into the hallway. And you know what? Surprisingly, it worked. You're the star, my man. I think you shoot like Helen Keller. You talking to him? Yeah, he's saying you shoot like Helen Keller. Oh, oh, he's coming you for you. Killed him. Dead. <laughs> hey, see you later, buddy. So then I charged in. I got shot. It started to heal, and then someone came in and just executed me. I'm dead. He just walked into the room. He walked into the room where I was healing because my arm was blocked out, and he just shot me in the head. We went back for the next raid, and uh, apparently that there was this guy who was cheating. I, I'm, I have no idea who's cheating in this game. I'm not good enough to know who's. I, I don't know. Okay, so this guy killed us. Now, interchange was next. You know that one? Oh, love interchange. Always, always die every time I go on this map. Uh, I, I'm in. I was doing so poorly that. I needed gear given to me constantly, like this UMP. Uh, interchange is like this. Why am I explaining what inter? I have it written in the script that interchange is a big mall. I've, I've already been there. We showed interchange. It was like an IKEA. I, I don't know. Every two feet I go into it, I just get shot. So this raid number twenty nine, no exceptions. Same thing. Died. 
I, I don't like going in there. So for the, for the next one, we went back to customs. This time I was with Evan again, and uh, I didn't bring a backpack because I, I, I don't know. I think I think I just forgot. I'm not, I'm not sure. So uh, I spent the whole raid trying to cram small items into my pockets, my vest. Uh, I found this survivor lighter, which again it was purple. Every time I saw a purple item, I was thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna be a rich man." So uh, I got it. I also found a sewing kit, I think, too, at one point. We killed some scavs at this gas station. Yeah, I, I don't like this. He's shooting at the car, man. We went to extract at the roadblock, and I, I popped one scav, and uh, last second possible, I went to extract. Another one spawned and nearly killed me, but I killed it, and then proceeded to limp to the extract, and uh, just, come on, a rough one. Around this point, I had this absolutely stupid idea that I should start saving things to sell on the flea market. Problem is, is that I don't know what was worth what, so I just started saving everything that I was finding and selling nothing to traders. This was a huge problem because it meant that I was about to be a very broke man for a very long time. So we did a scav run uh, on Interchange, and uh, we spawned in some security place. I, I don't know where this is. I don't, I don't know... I, I'm not good with this map, so we went into the Ikea, or Idea, or whatever it's called, and started looking around. I haven't found a Rolex. Yeah, well, why? Well, when can I find something like that? That was the first thought that popped in my head, a Rolex. Uh, and then he made the mistake of moving it into a different backpack while looting a dead person, so... I mean, if a man puts down a Rolex in front of you, what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna pick it up? Because that's exactly what I did. Stop searching it, this is all my stuff. I'm just taking this pack. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Motherfucker. Ooh, the oh. Rolex. <laughs> No, you rat! Put that back! That's a roller! Put that back! I'll kill you! I gave it back to him because I started to feel bad. But you know what? I should have kept that because remember that MP7 that he took the one time? I kept the anyway, so we looted a couple computers and got out. I got a hard drive which I used to trade to Jaeger to get uh, the MP133 custom plastic four stock with rails for that shotgun that I've been uh, trying to upgrade. I also bought this plastic pistol grip and the Zenit RK6. This is a whole bunch of numbers and words. What, what are you going to do with this information? Why am I telling you this? I was upgrading the shotgun. I was almost done. I just needed this thing, which was a like a cylinder 12-gauge muzzle adapter or something like that. But whenever I tried to buy it, it says offer sold. So I don't know what was going on here. I also needed some muzzle brake. So then we decided to try a map that neither of us had ever played before, which was the Shoreline. Oh, it was a good, good map. The moment I got on it, I walked straight into a minefield. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh God! I just broke my legs again. And, uh, like usual, I did not bring the correct medicine in with me, so, uh... Yet again, my man Evan was about to get the, uh, authentic Ubisoft experience of escorting me slowly across the entire map. We figured we could find a CMS somewhere and yeah, I'd be able to heal up, but, uh... It doesn't, doesn't work like that. I killed a scav one-legged, then we got to some police station. We started looking for a CMS kit. There was nothing there, so we tried to extract by these boats, since one of our extract points was, uh, pier. Pure boat or something like that, but that did not work. So on our way out, a man came running down the ramp and just opened fire on this guy. Hey, let's all walk out of here alive, all right? All right, sounds good. I'm gonna switch the knife or hatchet. All right, hold on. Okay, okay, I'll do the same. We walked out of that situation as two broken men, both limping, and shortly after that, Evan died. So I went over to pick out his corpse, and that same guy, he returned. Hello. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Please don't shoot me. I'm. I'm. Oh, okay. My. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just me now. He's dead. He starve or? Yeah, he starved to death. Feel free to take whatever you want from this carcass. All right. Thanks. So I'm gonna head to the power station. Do you want to come with me, or are you gonna extract? I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep extracting. I'm gonna. I don't even know where I'm going to be honest. And do you got any food for a man like me? Oh, thank you. What? No problem, man. You, good luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you too. Hey, look at this. This guy gave me some food and sent me on my way. I had no idea where I was going, so I just, uh, just walked off into the distance, into the woods. And about five minutes later, I got dizzy from dehydration and uh, disconnected. Hey, that's good. We did a scav run uh, for the next one, and I did not find much at all. I made Evan think that I was an enemy, though. Sean? Yeah. Help. What? Help. What's going on? There's, there's a guy here. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Oh. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Just shot me in the chest. 
On our way out, the, the time was running out, and uh, we saw a player scav who uh, looked loaded. Yeah, I have no morals, so I tried to kill him and uh, take his loot, but he was, and probably should not have done that. It's a player. At this point, I was, I was starting to feel like I was getting a hang of the game, so uh, I felt a little bit more comfortable with spending some of the money that I had somehow made, which was uh, roughly 100,000 rubles. So I got my character nice and equipped, and we uh, loaded on interchange, and <laughs> you know what? I opened up the wrong closet door. Oh! I'm dead. What? I opened a door, there was a guy with a shotgun. We went back on to customs after that, because every, every single time I go on interchange, it just ends like that, so we back on customs. Me and a bunch of uh, geared boys were uh, pushing fortress and uh, someone was holding up in there so I, I tossed a flashbang okay. and just as we were about to swarm the building, ooh look at this, I died again. Case. Okay, I'm dead. Sean, there's another guy downstairs. It was frustrating because just before this we had gone to some office because there was apparently some sort of piece of paper that I needed in there. Or, I, I don't know, there, there's something for a quest they had helped me out and I got that but if you die you have to uh, do it again so. I learned I gotta start taking things a little bit slower. Okay, Raid 37. You finally got the first part of that quest done. We went back, stormed the office. I got the, uh, what is the thing, you know, like a piece of paper, whatever. I, I killed a scav and we, we got out of there. Very easy. Nice, clean work right here. So for the next raid, I gotta go to factory, okay? Now here's the thing. Factory is the place that I have died in less than 30 seconds. And, uh... Let me just show you what happened. I'm, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. He actually oh got domed God. by a rat across the other spawn. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Sean got the classic Tarkov experience. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, okay. Oh, finally made that shotgun, though. The, the quest, and I turned it in. Uh, so, <laughs> 839. Got to restart the whole thing again. So, uh, we went back... Back on customs. Hey, good to be back. Can't wait to do this quest again. Love doing this thing. So I brought this uh, bolt action rifle since it's pretty much all I had and uh, walked right into dorms and uh, Riley went down and hey, guess who went down right after? Raid 40. Here we go again. Adam gave me my stuff back. So we went back to the office. I got the paper, looted and extracted. Not screwing around anymore. So 41. We went right back into factory and this time it worked. Okay. I ran in, dove straight into that building and planted it and just got out. I got a run through, don't care. I was starting to feel like I was getting the hang of this game. Things were starting to make a little bit more sense. Like uh, on Raid 42, I had this key that I had found a while ago. Turns out it, it's for reserve. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going here. First time on this map. Hadn't played on this map, but everyone else wanted to play on it, so we spawned in right next to this building that I had the key for. I uh, went in and uh, I got this uh, golden lion, this coin. It got some other stuff. So then we went down into some buildings. I, I don't know. It's just falling over and around, and it got very confusing. Okay, where am I going? I don't know where you guys are. I don't know where everybody is now, either. I have a golden lion. I got a GP coin. I got some good stuff on me. <laughs> you a gold lion? Yeah. Okay, wait. Where, where are you? I Literally where we spawned, at that radar station. And this golden lion, how much can I sell it for? The inventory. 140k. Oh! God. I'm just trying to follow you guys. I don't know. I... This building with these guys, Sean. Okay, where where are you guys? You guys are second floor? No, oh, all the way down the stairs, Sean. What? Come I, all the way down the I, stairs. I'm beside you. I'm beside you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am looking at you right now. Turn around. You got, do you have the big backpack, Riley? No, it's Taylor. Oh. Long Taylor. Okay, Adam, I don't know where I am right now. I, literally, this is my first time playing this map, and there's a lot going on right now. I got this UMP from a, a dead guy, and we went to extract, and it, look at this. All the boys getting out of reserve. Stand back. I might f*** this up. Yeah. Go, 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 go! The fact that we just survived a fine man reserve like that. <laughs> hey. A bunch of quests done, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got that. I got I got some lines. I got some coins. Ooh. For the next row, we went into customs. A very clean run, except Taylor was gunned down by a player. Uh, but Adam and I made it out. We did, just did customs again for the next one. Rinse and repeat, you know? You know when you're watching a show, and uh, the, the character starts to make a whole bunch of money on the show or something like that, they start to do well? It's feeling like that man at this point. It felt like every raid I was doing, I was surviving, I was taking players down. At this point, I've only killed like four players. I don't know why I'm... Why, why am I saying that? I, didn't, I wasn't killing any players at all. I wasn't doing well either. This was just, we, we were looting Stronghold when Taylor spotted some players. So I went for it, lit one guy up, and then ran upstairs. And I was under the impression that Taylor was upstairs, so... 
And when I was up there, I shot at the guy, hit him a bunch of times, and just got shot from behind. We went into the customs again, and uh, this time this was a five-man run. You ever bring five people into a game of Tarkov? It's, uh, it's fun, you know? It's a lot of people. It, it never goes well. Here's a, here's a perfect example of that, okay? I'm bottom. I'm in the middle of the hallway. Is that one of you with the light? To your right now, Riley. Yeah, in the door. In the door. I'm at the. I'm at the end of the hallway. I'm at the end. I'm at the end of the hallway. I'm at the end of the hallway. I'm at the end of the hallway. I shot one. You're shooting Riley. In, yeah, that's me. In the hallway, I yelled like ten times. I'm, I'm in the hallway. No, I'm inside with them. What? Oh, he went upstairs. He went upstairs. I killed one. One is dead, and I died. <laughs> I was saying like 10 times, I'm in there, I'm inside. Yeah, he, he went upstairs. So are the enemies, so it's so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shooting me, Sean? No, no. no. Someone else. Sean's dead. I'm dead. I'm I killed one of them. Yeah, I really need to get access to the flea market soon because I, I, yeah, my inventory was starting to fill up. I was going broke and I had a lot of stuff to sell and I was getting sick of using these terrible guns. So I did a solo scav run and I wanted to avoid high traffic areas and just get in and out. No, no messing about, you know, just find some stuff, get out, no getting distracted with things, just, just simple run. So I found a corpse which had a backpack, so I grabbed that but didn't look inside of it and I also had this gun. And just as I figured I had enough stuff and didn't want to get greedy, ooh, ooh, a plane was flying over. What's what's going on there? I was thinking, a plane flying over. That's, uh, that's probably interesting. And I saw that it had dropped something, so I couldn't help myself. So I went for it. I got close to it, and just before looting it, yeah, just before looting, I opened up my backpack to loot it, and I searched it. And there was some good stuff in there. I should have checked that earlier. So then I went for the drop, and the, this thing, it was. Look how much stuff in here. It, this is just loaded. So I started grabbing anything that looked good. I ditched my helmet, took this one. I grabbed this tier four rig. Load a, loaded some purples into it, got comms, got, got a, I was just grabbing stuff, okay? Like a, a little, little vulture, taking as much stuff as I could. And just, as I started to think that I was getting greedy, I thought, okay, you know, it's time to go. So I ran, which it was perfect timing too, because nearly as I was leaving, I saw another player, and yeah, I'm going to be honest, I think I shot at them, which was, or they shot at me. I, I don't know what had happened, because I had, I had heard a silent shot. So I shot at them, and I, I think I hit them a few times. But I, I don't know if I killed them, so I used the opportunity while I, I figured that they were healing just to run. And get out of there with all this good stuff. I don't know why I had to screw about after. I can just loot it and la I always have to... I, I, I don't know. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Just on a scav run. Just, uh, you know, f***ing around. Careful, there's a guy up there, so... Uh... Oh. Thankfully, this guy left me alone, and I got out with all this stuff. And Look at this. I can't wait to just start giving it out to other people when I try to go into the map with it. For the next raid, Riley and I went on to customs and uh, to do one of my quests. I have these, like, four markers. These, like, things? I don't know. And I need to put them on trucks. One by one, we hit every truck, killed a few scabs. I, I mowed this man down in the gas station, uh, and then we extracted. For the next quest, I need to get some sort of file out of a, a bunkhouse on customs. Uh, and I already had the key, so th it's pretty easy. I got the thing. I kept looting with Riley. Uh, but then Riley got shot and died, so I popped out, shot the guy, and hid for a few minutes, and hoping that he would just leave or forget that I was down here or something. I don't know. Eventually, I just ran for it. I was very—I was extremely dehydrated. It was just me waking up in the middle of the night when I need water. What does that mean? Me waking up in the middle of the night when I—that joke doesn't. Why, why is that? Okay, I don't know. I, I made it out. So exiting old gas underneath the bridge, right? Yeah, and then take a right. Hold on, there's so much stuff happening to me right now. I've got a tremor, I got pain, I got overweight, fatigue, dehydration. Yeah, I'm out. There it is. I logged back in the next day. I saw this beautiful message from Prapper, which said, uh, this man had gotten my UMP back. I didn't even know that I lost it. That's just some good script writing here. So uh, we went on to customs, which was, uh, it was pretty uneventful. I found a, a GPU. What do I mean it was uneventful? I found a GP. I know what that means now. Th this script, like usual, my scripts are just so bad. So I, I found this GPU, which if you don't know, it's it's an item that's worth quite a bit of money in the game. You gotta sell it on the black market to, to make the, the money, but it, you these are good things to find. And I found one, and I thought, okay, gotta get out of here. God, I killed the sniper scab, and uh, I don't know, did I, did I make it out? Didn't bother writing that in the script. We'll find out in the video. I hope I did. Raid, okay, 50. My 50th raid in the game. At this point, you'd think that a, a man would start to kind of know what he's doing, you know? Would have a little bit of an idea of how this game works. So we went back in. 
I spawned next to Crack House, and we were looting it. I heard some players coming, so I went out the back door and started shooting the one guy, but, uh... I'm f trapped in a room. He killed me. Where do we, where do we spawn? Right by dorms. He's weak, Ryan. I shot him in the chest a bunch of times. Ugh. He's, he's probably looting me right now, so if you run out, you can get him right out of the back door. Oh, no! He took me down. So I'm back on the customs for Raid 51. This is a quick one. We went into dorms. It was looted, so I thought that yeah, I would leave. Riley got intelligence because I decided not to loot it. Apparently, intelligence is worth a lot of money. I, I didn't know what it looked like. I didn't, everyone just kept saying, Oh, intelligence! I got intelligence! I was going, Oh, I got... I got no meds in my backpack because I forgot to bring them in. It was good. I was having fun. So we went next to Stronghold next, and uh, after I found some quest item there in a box or something like that, we extracted an old gasp. Hey, mostly a nice and easy raid. For raid 52, it was just customs again. And uh, things were going well, so I brought my big backpack. You know, a huge one. This thing I've been saving for the special occasion. And then uh, I got hosed down running by this uh, Christmas tree outside dorms. I'm dead. I really hope that's not, that not one of you from three story. Yeah, raid 53. Yeah, Evan apparently he starts accusing me of shooting him. This guy was just this guy was losing his mind in Tarkov, going nuts. Yeah, I killed two people apparently, and then we saw this airdrop and decided to go for it. Uh, so I used Evan as bait. All right, Evan, get on that. I'm, I'm about to die, like, hey, Sean. I'm trying to get. And then and then in my script I just wrote mines. I, I don't know what that means, but it probably doesn't mean something good. Oh no! Did you say a landmine? Yeah. Okay, that's him. <laughs> ah, I just walked into another landmine. Where are these landmines coming from? Oh, yeah, that's good. Hey, okay, raid 54, back on woods, but now, ooh, got a compass, all right? With a compass, you, you can't get lost, but you know what? I uh, stopped using the compass immediately after I unlocked it, so uh, that's good. I'm trying to help Evan do a quest on woods, and uh, you know what? I don't know what happened here. I, I know Riley died, and then Evan died, so I, I snuck up on, on one of these guys that killed him. Uh, I, I slaughtered him. So then I started looting him, and you know what? You already know what happened next. I got, uh, absolutely blown away by the other guy. Okay, raid 55, we're in customs. Things were going well. We were in dorms. I got a gas analyzer and two flash drives, which were uh, given to me by Adam. He just handed those things over. Uh, then we- I got- What? I got killed by a scav here? Yeah. Oh, I killed a scav and I, by the Christmas tree. I sprayed down another. And then I heard someone messing about, someone walking around here. So I jumped out the back window, laid down, and just waited. Waited to see what was who was m moving about in there. And sure enough, someone came out. So I seized the opportunity and started spraying at the guy. I hit him three or four times, but he kept running. And like an animal that just been shot by a hunter, he was limping through the woods, bleeding. And there was no way. I was letting this guy get away. Oh, he's dead. It's me, this is me. I'm coming through the hole as well. Oh god. Almost my entire body's almost dead. Me and a guy just me and a guy just slugged it out. And I killed him. <laughs> Where? Uh, I'm bleeding out bad, but he's dead. <laughs> I almost almost went down there, but you know what? I lived my man's. I was alive and well. well. Actually, not that well. I was a very broken man. Very, very broken. So Riley came and gave me some stuff that I needed and uh, healed me up. And uh, we met back up with everyone in Stronghold. We looted all the bodies and, ooh, I got out. Nice, clean raid right there. So I went back into customs with Adam. And, uh, you know, this one, there's no point even talking about it. I just got some basic stuff and I killed four scavs. Why did I write nothing happened? I killed four... Okay. For the next raid, we had to go to factory, or not we, I should say I had to go to factory, and I wanted to try to complete as many quests as possible, so I brought these tool sets on, did something on a wall, uh, Riley gave me a bunch of stuff to complete Gunsmith uh, 2 and 3, and I even, look at this, I even slaughtered a man. I got out and it all turned out well, I completed like 5 quests in one raid, that's uh, pretty good. It was time to do a scav run, you know, things were going way too well in my PMC character, so I had to slow down here, do a do a scav run. I was like waiting underneath a staircase at one point with a double barrel shotgun because I thought I heard someone waiting for the waiting for someone to walk down those stairs where I could just blow their legs off, but it, it didn't happen. So I just looted some stuff and got out. Evan and I went back onto customs for the next one, and uh, Evan decided to shoot at some distant players, so uh, you know it's good. It started firing back. Oh, getting shot at. We ran and Evan went down on the street. He asked me to hide his gun, so I, I stopped, looked around to see if people were still shooting at us, took my time, walked over, and uh, yeah, yeah, guess what happened? All right, it's good. 
My inventory was becoming a complete mess. I was not... I, I treat my inventory the way I treat everything that I do. I just throw my stuff everywhere. A huge mess. Uh, but the thing is, is that the game allows you to auto-sort. You can press a little button, and it, it will sort all your bags and categorize stuff nicely. Now, the problem with doing this is that just like in real life, you learn to know where stuff is in the mess, all right? And the moment it gets cleaned, you have no idea where this stuff is supposed to be. I can find, like, a little tiny piece of metal in a massive pile of trash in my office. But the moment I clean the place, I can't find anything. And th that's what happened in this game. So what, what did I, what's the point? Did I think that was a funny joke to write? I think I, I think that, that was not... That wasn't worth it. You know what? It's in there. I already said it. It's going to be in the video now. We went on to the interchange, which was... Uh, we did five men going on here. And it, you know it went well. Within the first 30 seconds, I was already shooting at Evan. Because uh, for whatever reason, he can't... This man dressed up like a scav. I remember this. And he was getting mad because he was like, Why are you shooting at me? Look at the way he was dressed. Who comes into a five-man looking like this? Evan and I got lost in Interchange. We were supposed to meet up with everyone, but I, I don't know what happened. So they were trying to guide us, and we ended up... I, I don't know. I, I just wrote a timestamp here. We're by Mantis right now. Yeah. It's like sitting duck down here. I don't even know if we made it out of that raid. C considering that I, I just stopped taking notes halfway through, uh, chances are we didn't. Okay? So, I, I don't know. Who knows? We'll, we'll see in the video. I make YouTube videos as a job, but I can't even be bothered to write proper notes. Yeah, it's good. So for the next raid, uh, we were on customs, and uh, I had one thing and one thing only on my mind. Finally getting myself uh, an intelligence folder. I heard these things were worth a lot, and uh, I knew exactly where to find one, so I ran straight into Crack House, thinking, hey, this is gonna be it. I'm gonna find one right now. And I ran right by it. Because I, I didn't know what it looked like, so I just ran right past it. Then Taylor came in right after, and oh, look at this! This man picked it up, and says, like, hey, I, got, I found an intelligence. And just as we were discussing who should have it, two other players showed up, and we were stuck in that room. We got the house surrounded. How about you walk out right now? <laughs> Throw the days, baby. Killed one. I'm fucked up. Nice. Should've walked out of the house. I looted a shotgun off that guy, and uh, ran straight over to Fortress, and uh, looted some more stuff there. I don't know what I looted, because uh, my, my notes are just absolutely terrible. I killed another person, I guess, at... No, it's a scab. I didn't kill a person. Let's not get ahead of myself here. Just start lying to people. Uh, and then we extracted. I, th I think this is where I leveled up to level 14, which means I was only one level away from the big 1-5. Ooh, you could almost taste that flea market. Very excited. The only problem was, was that I, I did something very stupid here. I, I proceeded to buy over 3,000 rounds for the UMP. Uh, uh, look at my inventory. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I just bought 4,000 rounds of that FMJ stuff. <laughs> Oh no, how much did that cost? Uh, almost 10 grand in USD. <laughs> oh, what? In USD? Oh my what god. Was that, huh? 10 <laughs> grand in USD? No, it didn't. Why did, I, why did I buy all this ammo? This was one of the stupidest things. Anyways, but after doing that, I finally have level 2 with this man, and uh, now I can buy the UMP, so I guess it, it worked out, which is... Hey, it's good to have this. So I bought one, bought a whole bunch of attachments for it, got this thing looking real nice, very excited to use it, and uh, immediately lost it in the next raid, just gone. And I only got hit Dead. in the head. Hey, don't even worry though, because the next raid, raid 63, when I logged back in that day, I had a nice message from Prapper saying, Hey, look at this, I got your UMP back, so I was very happy to get that thing back. So we went to the shoreline, and I've only done this map once or twice, or I don't know, I, I, I'm not familiar with it, so uh, I need to do a quest here, but... I don't know where I was going or what I was doing. I knew why that I needed to find some satellite dishes or something. So uh, we found the first one in this radar station. I also found this cat statue. You find something like that, it goes straight into the gamma. You don't want to. Uh, it looked like it was valuable. So uh, we, I got the quest part done here, and we used our. Oh, look at this! I was using my compass. I said earlier that I wouldn't use it. Uh, we also use the internet too, which is very useful. So uh, we we found out that the second satellite dish was at this place called Resort. So uh, we ran there and oh, guess what happened? Boom! Smoke right in the head. So we came back in the next raid and uh, we got to the back of the building, got to the satellites, looted a bit, and uh, got out. Got the hey, this was actually really surprised about this done so quickly. So we went back in for more, and uh, this time I dropped not one but two scavs early, straight in the head. We also lost Riley to a random guy in a bush. And uh, kept going on without him. We went back to the resort. I started looking, and then uh, one of the bosses. Oh, so we tried shoreline again. We kept going on shoreline. We just kept 
loot, loot in this place. Thankfully, someone picked up my gun in the previous raid and uh, gave it back to me because if I lost one more gun, I was thinking about quitting this game and very happy to get that thing back. Anyway, so we are uh, going around doing something. I don't know. Didn't take proper notes here again. I, I just wrote completed a quest for Evan and uh, there was someone in the, a ton. I don't know. How, I just wrote a, I, I wrote down a clip time here. You dead, Sean? Nope. Kill him. Dead. I'm dead, but I got. I feel like I got a couple hits on him. There's my gun again, gone. So we went out to factory next for raid 67. Uh, I was trying to like, help Evan complete a lot of quests here. You know, I'm gonna title this video "Escape from Evan" or something. Like that. I don't know. It was a stupid joke. Anyways, so we went out to factory and. Uh, Evan was trying to do that quest where you have to plant stuff or whatever, and since I had done it before, I could now actually help him out. So I was just leading him through it. Immediately, I popped this guy in the head down the hallway, rushed it, brought him to the room, which uh, watched the staircase while he was planting this stuff, opened the door for him, and got out. Very easy. I was actually feeling like a man who knew what he was doing in this raid. So we went back onto Shoreline after all that stuff had happened, and uh, my absolutely horrible internet uh, just stopped me from playing. So I ordered Evan to kill me and toss my stuff in a ditch. Couldn't trust my connection for the next one, so I went in with just a Glock, and uh, sure enough, he started going, everything started working fine when I come in with no guns. The internet works. So uh, we got to the resort. I led Evan through to the satellite, found the uh, idea to... What? I found the idea cash register. Oh, I found this key. Uh, I got a sewing kit. I got orange gunpowder, uh, but then, you know, oh, look at this. I do a scav. It's good. Raid 70. Okay, getting way up there now, getting getting through these things. So I went. we went on to customs this time. Uh, and I thought, hey, you know what? No more screwing about. Let's bring uh, bring one of my good guns. So I brought this thing out and was very excited to use it. We started looting and immediately I found a graphics... Look at a graphics card. It was starting to feel real good. Oh! What? Nothing. Sorry? What? Nothing. What'd you find? Graphics card, baby! One mil! When a man finds something like that, oof, all I gotta say is, uh... You put that thing away. At this point, I still had no idea what to do with it, but I knew that they were valuable. I was very happy to get these things. I also found a streamer item. I don't know. I forget what it was called. I, I, I'm just going off notes here, and they're really terrible notes. Uh, my inventory was pretty full, uh, so I said, hey, you know what? Let's, let's get out of here. So we went down the train tracks uh, where I uh, smoked the sniper scav. We pushed into the gas station, then to Fortress. Well, at Fortress, I looked out at the crack house. It was looted, so I had a bad feeling about running towards it. And you know what? When a, when you got a feeling like that, you shouldn't... You should listen, because sure enough, just smoked. But you know what's fine, because I uh, put the graphics card in my gamma, so... No, it's not fine. I know it, it, it devalues it when you do that, so... Okay, you know what? It's... whatever. Raid 71. So we went back in, and this time, uh, I had a plan. We looted a building, and then I pushed into old gas station. It was up, so we're gonna... Ex oh yeah, that... We we thought we were gonna extract camp here. We're gonna sit by this point and just wait for people to come and blow them away and take all their loot. Let these men get in close, you know, drop their guard. And that's when you get them. We gather up all the loot and we just run straight to the extract. It's absolutely a foolproof plan. While they were watching for players, I was watching my ping bounce around. Go from like 7,000 to 100 to 200. When you have internet like me, it's not fun. If anyone's watching this video who can help someone who has satellite internet in northern Ontario, Canada, please... I, I am desperate for internet. So if there's a company out there that can do something for me, please. You, you feel just help me, okay? I, I need. To, this is not good. No one wants to. No one wants to play video games with satellite internet. I had fiber before, and now I'm on satellite. You know what that does to a man? How, how about you know? How about I just not get off topic and focus on the video here? What am I even? It's like a minute of just not. I don't even know what Wise Fish is gonna put here. Stop talking about it and just go back to the... Okay. We eventually gave up, and uh, on our way out, we ran into a player. So I warned him over VoIP that... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I just wrote... We warned a man. You want to fight, or you want to walk away? If you walk out right now, we will not kill you. I promise you. There's three of us. But if you stay hidden... You're going to die. I'm going to give you five seconds to come out. Five. Four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, this this guy wasn't even here. There there was no one there. I was talking to a ghost. So we pushed in, ran, started getting shot at by a silence gun, but uh, made it out. 
I went into customs alone. I really needed to get to level 15. I was getting, I was getting very desperate for level 15 here. Okay, there's 72 raids. Still not level 15. So I started running directly over barbed wire. Yeah, see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is my 72nd raid. And I'm running into barbed wire. Yeah, it's good. So I didn't find much, but I killed a scav and got smoked by a player almost immediately after. I did another scav run alone, this time on factory, and quickly ran into some guys. Yeah, you know, I decided, hey, let's just talk to these guys, see, if, see what's going on. Hey! Hello. Boys, where are you at? I'm a scav coming around the corner. I will not shoot you. Holy, I don't think so. I don't know. There's a lot of scabs around here. Hello. Hey, right here, right here, right here. Don't worry. I'm not going to shoot. Okay. Yeah, there's also a guy behind us, too. Oh, really? Yeah, we got four people. Where's the loot spots in this map, yo? Yeah? I've only played customs. Yeah, me too. I'm a man who doesn't know much either. Not gonna lie, I definitely want to kill you guys, but I'm trying to... Try and yeah, I'm it. not... I, I kind of want to kill you guys too. I, I've, 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 I've thought about it like six times now. Oh, yeah. Same How here. about so this? How about we all walk different directions and then what happens, happens, you know? Alright, fair. Yeah, that sounds fair. I'll go this way, you go downstairs, you go there. Okay, hey, 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 hey. You and me? Let's 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 make let's take the other guy out, okay? Alright. No one killed anyone, which was nice. We just looted and extracted for the some experience, so it was good. Look at this. Raid 74. My friends are all slowly walking through grass, being mindful of their noise, and me holding the shift key down, micro sprinting everywhere I go. Full speed ahead. 74 raids in and I'm still doing this. What were we doing out here? I, I don't know. I was following Riley around. He was looking for some sort of box. So, uh, some sort of box in the woods that he needed to find for a quest. And while he was doing that, I couldn't help but think... What if I killed him right now? What if I just shot him in the head? And took that beautiful gun that he has. And all his gear. And just tell him that someone else shot him. Could I get away with this? But before I can make my decision... Oh, he uh, found his box, so... No, no need to... Everything's good. I wanted to get to level 15. I was getting very desperate and I only needed a little bit more XP. Uh, one of the quests I still needed to complete was bring gas analyzers to a uh, therapist. And gas analyzers, everyone was finding them. Everyone was getting gas analyzers saying, Oh, look at this. Five gas analyzers for me. Oh, here's 20 for me. Me? I couldn't find a single one. So I was struggling. So that's when I came up with a plan. Go into interchange, spawn in with nothing, and just sprint straight to one of the stores that has ga uh, gas analyzers. Grab it and get out. It's very simple. So I popped the scab with my pistol, then I ran straight in, started trying to loot, and yeah, got killed. So I tried again, and uh, I made it to the mall. This time I started running store to store looking for uh, whatever the store was called. It's called like Techno or Resmussen or something. I have no idea where I was going. Absolutely no idea, just hoping to find one. And uh, sure enough, just slaughtered. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm not gonna shoot you. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Raid 78. Okay, we went on to interchange. And you know, I was a very nervous man. Very, very nervous. Felt like I was going to lose all my stuff. But uh, if I could just find one gas analyzer, I'll hit level 15 and I'll be the richest man in all of Tarkov. I will be showered in money. So we went up an escalator and uh, I got shot at. Killed the scavs and moved into the food mart. I haven't heard someone, so I got ready. This man came through the door and I shot him several times in the chest. And uh, he's, somehow he kills me. Hey, it's good. Love that. Hey, getting real sick of uh, losing all my stuff constantly and going broke and having nothing. So this time I brought in just an AK-74 for you. No nothing else. But here's the problem with me. When I see other players, I, I just can't help myself. You know, it doesn't matter what they have. doesn't matter if they're the most geared people in the game. If I've got even a, a stick, I'm going after them. And sure enough, when I saw these people, I just started shooting at them with my AK-74 for you. You know, if we didn't shoot at them, they probably wouldn't have seen us, and they probably would have went into the mall, and things would have been fine, and could have just walked away from this, but, uh, no. No, 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 no. I'm, and I'm dead, too. I didn't even have enough money to heal after this. I was... I was getting very desperate. So for the next raid, I did a scav run, and uh, I found a lot of dead bodies in this first building. What was going on in here? Anyways, one of them had a helmet, another one had a bag, and another one had a vest, so I took all those things, because right now I didn't have any of that, so this was good to have. When I was leaving, uh, someone ran over a hill, and I couldn't help myself but shoot. Wait, 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 other side of that hill, other side of that hill. Oh, it's a scav, I'm an idiot. There was nothing, that cr nothing crazy happened in this raid, I, I just kept looting, I got a bunch of stuff and got out.
then went right back on to uh, customs for raid 81. I was a PMC uh, this time, and there was no way I was dying, okay? Nay, absolutely no way. So we started looting, and I quickly killed the scav, then a second one, almost killing Evan in the process. And then a third scav. I was ripping through people this time. I found some good stuff, like a, a Triton and some loot. You know, things were going well until uh, we were on the road, and a scav opened fired on, on us. Uh, I got shot hard, and it almost killed me. I frantically started healing, got myself as good as I could, but ultimately had two blacked arms. I limped to the extraction point, got out, and uh, with that only had 500 more experience until I hit level 15. Yes, I could taste it. Back on to customs for the next one. Customs is the theme of this video. Was uh, I really love that place. Only map that I know. So I was helping Evan do this again. Escape from helping Evan or something like that. Uh, he was doing the quest where you needed to put those markers on the truck or something, and I kind of knew where this stuff was, and he had the internet, so I don't know. We found the first truck, and I killed a scav while Evan planted. Uh, then we looted. I found some stuff in a barrel. Uh, I don't know what I was doing here. I was just walking around or something. I don't know. I have no idea. So then we got to the second truck, uh, and that's when I... What? Then we went to the third, and things got a little nutty. What, what does that mean, things got a little nutty? Why do I write notes like that? That's so inspecific. Uh, oh, a player came out. And we just uh, killed him. I pushed into the gas station and started tossing grenades at... Someone was throwing grenades at me. Oh, man. That grenade just went off right next to me. He's whipping grenades. Oh, God. I killed a second scab by this checkpoint. Uh, then we extracted and... and I, oh, this was when I got to level 15. Level 15, baby. Nice. There you go. This was a good raid, okay. Level 15, which means I now have access to the flea market. And after 82, technically 92 raids, because I didn't record the first time, I listed two items. I had no idea what I was doing, but I listed a sewing kit and a tool set. Then, I, I built this AK that I saw in an Operator Drewski video. He said this thing was good, so I, I built it, and I was very excited. It was finally time for me to start slaughtering people in this game. I brought this bad boy into a raid, and look at this thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a thousand rubles a shot, though, so, uh... Ooh, gotta make sure that my... I'm not missing people. Comes with a ten-round mag, extra ammo in the gamma, and, uh... That was good. So I killed my first scav, then a player, and... You just, look, look, look at this beautiful Side. kill right here. Line this man up. We made it into the gas station. I smoked a guy from far away. We kept going. At this point, we're trying to extract. Uh, we ran into several scabs next to this wall. I killed one, but Evan went down, and then I killed another one, and I died. I lost it all. Lost the new gun, but ooh, that little taste I had, ooh, I wanted more. Next, we went on to reserve, which this was the first time the two of us had gone in without some people helping us out, so this was going to be just gonna be good. So we're doing a quest called The Bunker, where we just needed to find this bunker and some sort of control room. Uh, we got lucky, and we actually spawned right next to it, but it's just a whole mess of tunnels down there. So even though you spawn close to it, or at least we spawn close to it, we still had no idea where we were going. After a few minutes, we found the room. Yeah, I saw that there was like a glass wall, so I shot it, and sure enough, you can go right through. And then I found a, a like a safe in there. Opened the safe up and found a, a scope, the, the exact scope that I had just lost and wasn't available on the flea market, so I was very excited to get that. Ooh, that was a good find. And then some other valuable stuff. This was good. The only problem was now that we needed to get out, and both neither Evan or I really knew where to go. I had a faint memory of getting out from playing this before, but I, I really didn't know what I was doing. So we were just kind of guessing. And eventually, by sheer luck, we found the exit, the extraction point, and we are very excited to get out. The only problem was, you, know, you got to turn on the power or something like that. The door doesn't just open. You got to go turn the power on. Okay, so back into the maze of tunnels, running around looking for the uh, power. <laughs> no idea where we are going. I found a, another bunker, though, or some sort of safe with a skull, a teapot, and some other stuff. And as soon as I saw that stuff, I thought, oh, Evan, my man, we have to get out right now. No more screwing about. It's time for, time for us to extract. Okay, so we just kept looking for the, the place to turn the power on it. And at some point, look, look at this. We ended up on the surface. Then I ran out of food or water or something. This was, and then to make matters worse, we heard footsteps down there. Hey, you guys get the power on? Did you guys turn the power on? I did. You did? We're trying to do a quest. Oh. Uh, listen, man, I'm just trying to get the hell out of here. So are we. So are we, man. So we're, are we. We're leaving to turn the power on. You you did turn the power on? Yeah, if you come, you, if, yeah, come out. There's there's two of us. We won't kill you. I promise we won't kill you. 
Okay, yeah, we're both trusting each other here. Not even looking at you. Not even looking yep, at you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're coming up. Oh, we're good, we're good. We're, we're good. good. We're good, man. Thankfully, this man, oh, he's friendly. He's absolutely friendly. And he turned the power on for us. So we all just left. Hey, this was a good man right here. Good guy. After that, I sold a ton of stuff on the flea market. And I made, look how much money I had. One million rubles. One mil, I was officially a millionaire in Tarkov. You ever see someone with this much money? Ooh, rich man right here is feeling very good. So uh, using that money, I bought this SR-25, okay? I, this weapon right here, this is what I've been working for. This absolutely beautiful rifle. So I joined the boys, and I'm excited to show them what I got now. Take a look at this big... I'm a millionaire walking around feeling good. And then it was all taken away from me. Because Adam started talking to me about his what he was wearing, his character. You guys are shopping a giant tiger, and I'm over here in Drake's <laughs> clothing store. <laughs> yeah, see oh. this flannel? One mil. I'm, like, I'm shopping at like Hollister. <laughs> So we went on to customs and, uh, what was going on here? I was warned about going into customs with this weapon. I don't know if you want to bring that dorm, Sean. I bring it anywhere. I got a million dollars. I'm going to buy another one. So we went to dorms and I, I got my first taste of the SR-25 by taking out the sniper scab. And then this other scab in the hallway. So we, we just looted the place and got out. It was yeah. absolutely beautiful. Rinse and repeat for raid 86. We, I went into customs with the boys. I got in, killed the sniper scab. I got black... I'm I'm coming in the back right now. Well, he could have gone around. Yeah, the back he's here. Wall. He's here. He's here. He shot me. He shot me. He's hiding behind the pallets by the back area where you run in underneath. Oh, I got. I don't know what happened here. I got blasted by someone in front of fortress, but I guess they killed him. We looted. I got disconnected and just got out of there. I don't know if I lost my gun or not. So we did customs for a third time for raid 87, and shortly into the raid, I found this Kiba key in stronghold. I really didn't think I was making it out with this thing, but uh, so I put it in my gamma, but I got out and. I sold that key for, I don't know how much, it was like $500,000. $500,000 from one key. I, I was unbelievably rich at this point. I, I could not believe how rich I was. So for the next raid, we did customs again, and I found this purple key right away. N not much action, we waited outside the building, and I was, I was waiting for someone inside or something. I, I have no idea what was going on. I, was, I was, felt like a millionaire. 1.5 million on me. Loaded. Adam did some sort of tree jump, which... Uh, I thought there was no way I was going to be able to do that, but somehow, look at this, I did the jump too. Uh, then I found this ghoul mask. Uh, look at this thing. I extracted with that. Okay, so for the next raid, we went back in, and we uh, we chased someone into the mechanic building. And uh, I tried to talk to him with my VoIP, and uh... Hey, uh, do you want to live or do you want to die? We got yeah, five, yeah, we got, we got got five guys out here. Oh. I thought he was dead, so I just ran in. Is he dead? Oh, oh, oh! Dead, he's dead. And now he's dead. After nearly dying, I started to... I thought, okay, you know what? It's time to start playing a little bit more safely. You can't be doing this. So I, I took a scab down and then extracted because I realized I was you know, low on food. We did customs again for raid 90. Uh, things were going well, so we rushed into dorms. I found a key, uh, which let me into a room with a safe. We left, but uh, we heard gunshots, so I went back in and nearly got killed. So I sat in the room. I did not want to die and lose all my stuff. There's no way. So I was sitting there panicked, waiting for someone else to take care of the problem. And sure enough, one of... Uh, someone on my, I forget who it was, but they threw a grenade just randomly out of the door into the bushes and somehow killed the guy who was shooting at us. That was good. You hear that? Yo, I think I heard him with my nade, dude. He just... Yeah, I heard I him moan. He I think that might have been a death moan, dude. We left and just as we were about to extract, we saw an airdrop and uh, went for it. I had no food, so... Hey, you just really hoping that thing would have just a little bite to eat for me. Something for me to chew on. So I ate some croutons, uh, but that depleted my water and uh, got to the airdrop. And thankfully, I had some milk. And this man needs to drink milk, you know, so I slugged that back. So we got out of there, and just as we were going through the hole in the, the wall, I got lit up. But I didn't want to deal with whatever was shooting at me, so I just ran straight to the extract like a scared animal. Raid 91, customs again! Love going on customs. I was worried about losing my gear, so I uh, brought some rat stuff in and popped a scav in the chest a few times in the dorms. Uh, I popped open this room, 110 or it was, hit the vault, got a diary, some books and money, and got out. Nice, easy raid. I had not died in a while. I was feeling, feeling very good, so I decided to make a, a big beefy kit uh, without a helmet. Let's see that uh, that was not a good decision later. Uh, and we went on to interchange. We entered through the supermarket and started pushing through. 
We came around a corner and Evan sprayed down a scab, and I pushed forward to see if there was anything going on, and uh, then I saw a PMC. I see someone. I'm dead. Keep one tap me. Oh, should have put that helmet on. That was good. So for the next ride, I spent a good 15 minutes customizing this AK. Just just for this to happen in the first three minutes of the next raid. I hear someone. I hear someone. I'm dead. So we went on the shoreline next because uh, Ryan, another one, uh, another guy we were playing with, had he had, a, he had some sort of plan he was going on about, but I had no idea what he was talking about. So I, I brought this shotgun because, uh, yeah, I don't know. So he Ryan died very quickly at the start. Then Evan and I saw an airdrop and went for it. I wanted to wait and see if yeah, people would run for it, but uh, Evan, ooh, this man's got a mind of his own, so he, he just ran straight for it, and sure enough, he got slaughtered. Uh, so I thought, hey, you know what, I got nothing left. May as well, may as well go die too. So uh, I ran over to it, and uh, sure enough, I got killed. I'm dead. <laughs> I found him. In, I found him in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, raid 95. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I took like three months off playing this game. Just started doing something else. I don't know what. Can't remember. The doesn't matter. So I, I I was gonna do a scav run because I figured that I would not know what I was doing now that I was back to the game. So that's uh, so yeah. I went on customs. I didn't. I could not remember where the extracts were. I so I, I just started running. I, I ran across the river. I saw an airdrop and I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, kind of want that, but it was on the other side of the river, so I had to run back across the river again. And when I got up to where the airdrop was. I heard someone. Hello, mate. Hey, how's it going? Trying to get the drop. You trying to go in together, brother? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I won't kill you. Don't worry. In the three months I took off this game, I forgot a lot of stuff. But there was one thing, one lesson, I didn't forget. Yeah, I need, I need to see what's going on here. Take whatever you can get and get out. Why would I share this box with this man? Why would I... Why would I let him have half when I can just get the whole thing? I, I, I looted him, looted the drop, and I got out. N nice and easy. I celebrated by going for a solo run on Factory. I thought, whoa, this is going to be good. And, uh, yeah, I, I died almost immediately. Oh, okay. I thought, okay, <laughs> slow down here. Just, uh, come on. Uh, raid 97. It was, uh, look at my scav character. He was equipped with a, a pistol. One of those paper boy hats. What are you gonna do with that? So I was back on customs, and this was just this was an awful run. I got yeah, murdered in the train yard, and it kind of scared me. Oh, okay. That scared me. Okay, raid ninety-eight. I went in as a PMC on custom. I like customs. I guess that's uh, this video should be called. I spent a hundred days in customs. So I I got a feeling that this one wasn't gonna go well. But, you know what, it went okay. I killed not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Yeah, five scabs. It would have been, what would have been my six, but I, I ran out of ammo. And I ran straight into a man who was hiding in a room. And you probably know how that went. Raid 99, okay. My I, I, I was doing another scab run, right? This guy had a drum mag on an AK without a stock. You see something like that, and you think you only get one thought. Just, just spray down the first man you see. Doesn't matter if he's a scat. Doesn't matter. Just gun someone down. So I went on factory, and uh, yeah, the yeah, first person I saw. Yeah, I tell you right now, it uh, oof, did not go well. Did not go well at all. Just ran away. Had no idea I was even shooting at him because my aim was so bad. And the second guy, it's, I, I I don't even know. And then I I went after. I I got killed. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. These guys just slaughtered. Me. But that brings us to raid 100. The final raid. Raid 100. At this point, I had spent tens of hours in this game. And my skill level was... It, it was not good. But you know what? I wasn't going to let that stop me from doing the one thing that I wanted to do from the start. I wanted to ruin someone's night. By any means. So I grabbed my SR-25 and headed on to customs. I spawned across the river and I made my way up to this bus. I stopped here because it had a good view of that uh, extract. That one extract point that's like, I think it's the scav check. No, it's not scav checkpoint. It's RUAF roadblock. For, I always get have to, ex doesn't matter. I, I figured I was going like, to uh, just sit here and wait for someone to try to extract. And then I would just blow them away. Right as they have all their loot. But before I could react or, or even shoot at anyone, I got, uh, this scav just got on a, 
I watched this guy get on a giant heavy machine gun and just open fire on me. Oh! I sort of forgot how to stay. <laughs> I forgot how to do the steady aim. Yeah, that's good. Nice for day 100. That's uh, it shows exactly how much I learned about this game. I had I, I killed two more scabs right after that, and I realized that this area was, it was way too hot. There's too many scabs spawning here, so I moved on. Eventually, I got to the dorms again, so I, I just kind of sat down and waited. This was a popular spot, so surely someone had to come running out of this place. And sure enough, it, it paid off. I saw someone run out, and I took my time. I tracked this man down. I lined up the shot and just wildly started shooting at him. And you know what? Yeah, I killed him. I ran over, looted him. He, this guy had a, like a very, very cool M4. It had tons of nice little uh, chest rig. He had uh, some, like special mag for this thing. It had a silencer on it. This was a ooh, pretty good gun. This was a skilled man. And guess what? Sorry, but your stuff is now mine. You know, a random guy sitting in a bush got you. And that was, that was me. Almost immediately after this, I uh, killed what I, I think was a player scab. This man just dropped to the ground. And then on the road, I killed uh, two more right after that. And the way I killed these two scavs, oh, I was felt like I was snapping to targets. It felt like I was uh, I was worried people might report me for cheating or how, how good I was killing these things. This was very easy. Look at that. That was incredible. So I moved on and I found another player scav outside of the gas station. I chased this guy inside so that yeah, I think it was a player scav. Yeah, would a scav run inside like this and sit by the expert? I, I don't know, but I mercilessly killed him on the staircase. Shortly after that, I ran into a huge problem. Hunger. I was a very hungry, hungry man, and you know, I had to get out, so uh, I limped to the extract point, and I extracted. I finally made it out of Tarkov. There it is. 100 days. Again, a huge thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. I got a link to War Thunder in the description. Go click it, check it out. There. Look at all the tanks in this game. Look at all the ships. Look at all the planes. Hey, it's good.